This is Rosa Travels from Utopian. Hello, I'm Rosa. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a feature that is very unique in the Caliber software. As it says here, it is really a one-stop solution to your ebook needs. When we want to buy an ebook, we want to make sure that the book that we buy has the right format that we want and that the book that we buy would be the cheapest one available on the net. There's so many ebook stores on the net, and if we want to search for a book to buy, this is what we normally do. Say we go to Google and we type in the book that we want to buy. Say, for example, I want to buy The Little Prince. I go to Google and search for this and comes Amazon Bookstore. So I will look up the bookstore in Amazon Kindle to find what the price is for this book. And if I want to see how many languages this book has or the different pricing, then I need to key it in the Amazon search here. And I will need to scroll through all these listings to take a look at these books and also the pricing to see whether they have DRM restrictions to get all this information. If I don't want to look at the Amazon bookstore, I can keep searching down here to look for the next bookstore, say Barnes & Noble. I click on this site to take a look at the ebook and look at the pricing here, $6.99 for The Little Prince. And if I want to see what kind of books are available at Barnes & Noble for The Little Prince, I again type in here in the search engine in Barnes & Noble to take a look to see what is available. Now we need to click on each one to look at their formatting. Now this in itself takes a lot of time to go through the search and look through all these links in the different bookstores. Well, I have good news for you. In the Caliber software here, there's a feature that I'm going to show you today. You're going to be able to search everything inside the software to look at the book that you want to buy. Caliber will be able to show you 49 different bookstores that hold a listing of that book. And you can easily look at the information inside the Caliber software without searching it in the net. It is very efficient, less time consuming, and you can zero in easily to your search to buy the book that you want quickly. First, you need to download the Caliber software. And today is May the 6th. They just released a new version on May the 4th, two days ago. So you can get the newest release is 3.23. At the top of the toolbar, you can always click on here to donate to them to give them support because this is an open source software. And you come to Get Books here, this tab. And when you right click, you can see that it will help you search for ebooks. So we'll click on this tab here and it will take us to this page. Look at the top here. You can search by title, by author, or by keywords. So let's try to search by title first. I want to buy the book, The Little Prince. So I key in The Little Prince and I click search. It says it couldn't find any books matching my query. The reason is because I have not selected any of the stores yet on the left. So what you need to do is look at the stores that Caliber provides for you. They have all these Kindle stores in different countries. And if you scroll down a little bit, you see Barnes and Nobles. And if you continue going down, Google Books, Kobo, these are stores that we are very familiar with. Or you just keep scrolling down to find the store that you want. There's also smash words here. I'll just select all of them. And I click search here on the right. Now the search is complete. You take a look at the bottom left hand corner here. Caliber managed to find 173 books on The Little Prince. Here you see five columns. You see the cover of the book here. And then you see the title that is given for this book in the different bookstores. Here is a pricing in this column. Some of these books don't have pricing. So if I just click on this one, I just scroll down a little bit and you see the pricing. And they come in different currency depending on the bookstore. This one is Euro. This is US dollar. And this is Hong Kong dollars from Google Books. There's also DRM. DRM stands for Digital Right Management. 
the red lock tells you that this book has DRM restrictions, meaning that if you buy this book, there's no guarantee that the formatting will fit for your device because of the restriction. So when you buy a book, make sure you get one that is green. It is unlocked. This book does not have DRM restrictions. It means that you're able to use this book on any device provided it is a format that Calibre supports. So these are some of the things that you need to check when you buy a book. And look how easy Calibre has made it for you. They let you see in one glance. This one with the question mark, they're not sure. They couldn't determine whether it has DRM restrictions or not. So in this case, you're not going to buy this book from the Google Bookstore because this book is available elsewhere. And finally, this column shows you the book that are available in the different bookstores. Here it shows Google Books. If you scroll down, you see Amazon Kindle, Kobo, which is quite popular, or Smashwords, or even from the site ebooks.com. All these five important things are shown to you on this dashboard. For the pricing, you can click on this to get the lowest price without the DRM restriction. And here it says you can get it in the Canadian bookstore, Amazon Kindle. And if you find the book that you like, all you need to do is to click on this. And there you go. This is the Amazon Kindle in Canada. And you can read up the review down here to see if this is the book that you want to buy. Sometimes we might want to search by the author instead of by the title. Say, for example, the author of The Little Prince, the name is Antoine de Saint Exupery. He is a French author. This time I don't want to search all the bookstores because I just want to see what other books he has written. So what I do is I unselect this and I go to Amazon Kindle, this one. Is the most popular one, the US store, and I click search. And voila, this tells me that this author has written many of the books. Wind, Sand and Stars, Flight to Arras, Airman's Odyssey, Letter to Hostage. Isn't this remarkable? If you like this author, and I can click on his book to read what the book is about. And here I can just scroll down to read about the reviews and how much the book costs. Now I want to search by keyword. I type in little print since this is the keyword. And I want to see if anyone has written a review about this book. Since I'm a teacher, I want to see whether there are other study guides or commentaries written by people about this book. All I need to do is to type in the title little print and I add in the word review there and I click search. Voila. And here I see two books. Here the Little Prince Spark Notes is a literature guide. And here this one is a study guide. Total class notes. Oh, this one looks interesting. So I can click on this to see what this study guide is all about. So I might just want to buy this for $2.99. So can you see how easy it is to search for the kind of books that you want to buy using the Calibre software here? If you don't want to search for Amazon Kindle, you can just always click on Barnes & Nobles and see what they have. Well, for Barnes & Nobles, there's no match. Let's try Google Books since it's more popular. Okay, there's quite a few in Google Bookstore. So you can just go through them easily with this software without going out of the software to search on the net. Another thing you need to look at is how to configure your search. Here you can choose your stores. There are 49 of them so far. And you can always take a look at the format. In Kindle, the format is Kindle format or Mobi. In Barnes & Nobles, it's always Nook. In Beam eBooks, it's EPUB, Mobi, or PDF. For the Google Bookstore, it's usually EPUB, and they also provide PDF or text. For Kobo, it's a newer bookstore, so it's EPUB. 
and some of them has HTML. For example, the Project Gutenberg or Smashwords, they come in HTML format. So if you want HTML format, you'll have to buy it through Smashwords. The other tab you need to look at is the Configure Search. The three things you need to configure, the time, the display, and the threads. Mine is set at 75 seconds to wait for the store to respond. For display, I think 10 is enough from each store. If you want more, you can just click on more. But I think 5 or 10 is enough. Actually, I like to keep it lower. But in case you want to see more results, 10 would be a good number. And then for threads, you can key in between 2 to 5. So that's all you need to do to configure the search. So to summarize, today I've shown you how to use the Caliber software to make use of this Get Book feature to find the book that you want to buy. When you key in the title and if you activate all these bookstores, it will automatically show you all the books that are available in the different bookstores. You see the cover, the title, the price, whether it has DRM restrictions and which bookstore and what kind of formatting this bookstore will have for that particular book. You can also search by author to find out what other books he has written so that you can also buy them for your library. And for keyword search, any topics or any subjects that you want, but that can be very broad. So I usually use this for review study guides of a particular author that I want to look more in depth in. All right. I hope you use this feature in Calibre. Thank you for watching this video. This is Rosa and I'll see you in the next lecture.